you know, you're a natural disaster. It's very enjoyable, partly for all the wrong reasons. I think you're a bit of a romantic. Oh. <laughs> I was overly excited. I loved it. You look fantastic, a little minx. I loved it, loved it, loved it. It's like watching somebody who's had one too many at one of those awful, tacky seaside resort discos. You just wish they'd stop. <laughs> 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 and the judges, Jason Gardner, Robin Cousins oh. and Emma Bunton are here now. It's Welcome. weird because we, we, you have I know. two different faces on this show. You are a fashion face. Two different hats. D well, I wasn't going <laughs> to say it. <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to say it. How unusual for you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> we'll come to that in a minute. Okay. Um, but so, yes, so the fashion you're going to do later, yes, but now yes. you are um, Mr. <clears throat> Mr. Dancing and yes, Ice. And where okay. is it said that Torval and Dean are the beating heart, you are the dark soul? Oh! Yes. <laughs> Did you know that? Quite harsh. Oh my God, She's a bit harsh. Witch. <laughs> Fouler than the blackest witch. <laughs> so okay. there's uh, the, the, the new series. There was a there was a, a new look this yeah. year. A few few changes. What have, what have you thought about the general series? I've loved it. I've I've it's gone really fast. The changes have caused a bit of controversy. Some people love them. Some people say don't change it if it isn't broken. So the fact that people are talking about it is good enough for me. And I yeah. and I love that people are so passionate about it. What seems nice to me is that actually with the sort of slimmed down panel you guys get more of an opportunity to critique for longer. There's more time for you to sort of get your point well, across. So we talk about something. everybody, don't we? Which yeah. We've never done that before. As yeah. you know, we only sometimes have time to come to one or two judges yeah. in the previous series. This time we've been able to give, I think, a really well-rounded uh, view overview of what we and feel. We can justify what we say. Whether people <laughs> like it or not, it's great to have an opinion but to be able to have time to back it up and justify it, then makes it okay. I don't like it, but I understand it. You're yeah. a proper judge. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yes, and uh, um, and you've got a little tougher as well this year. A you? little tougher, yes. But I think you know the the thing is for me, I love to see performance and fun and light. So I kind of bring a little bit of niceness to this. Panel. I do. <laughs> I do look at Emma sometimes after these two have had a go, and I'm look, I look at Emma and I go, "Is that right?" She's like, "Ah, oh, well, you know what they're like." <laughs> <laughs> it's nice as well because we get to sit together at the rehearsals and chat about things yeah and so you know it's well it's interesting when when jason comes out with one of his remarks which you know will undoubtedly end up being the controversy of the week yes um and you say what you say the the, the two of you are sitting there very stony faced so what is the reaction going on behind your eyes when he does what he does sometimes i think Gosh, I wish I had said that or had the nerve to say it. <laughs> I've always I said I love the like fact that. that he uh, that he has an opinion and, and again to be able to justify it and say it, I wish I could have the nerve to say something similar, probably not the same thing, <laughs> and put it in a different way. But just to have the nerve to to be that blunt. And sometimes I'm trying not to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Although really? sometimes I've heard you laugh out loud. <laughs> yes. Out loud. Out loud. <laughs> yeah. Out loud. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. He does Should make we remind laugh? ourselves of some of those uh, fake oh. moments. Oh, what? Let's have a <laughs> Matt's scaling with his mum. You had what I call a baboon bum. They're rather stumpy, so you need to actually point the foot. Look more like you're about to have an internal examination. You end up looking a little bit goofy out there. A little bit of vanilla ice is melting away. It's not good enough. I'm sorry. Have what you about all my I good comments? You never put my good comments back to back. <laughs> that would be they? dull. Of course, we're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing about about your comments is that you do get a remarkable change out of the skaters. You notice whatever you say to them, whether it be about their mm. arms or about their lines, whatever it is. The following week, they do tend to, as much as they might not like it, they do listen to it and come back and improve on yeah. it. Yeah, and I think backstage as well, they really kind of obviously want to hear what Jason's got to say, and even though they they might not like it at the time. They really think about it and mm. go away and kind of work well, on those things. Look, as I've always maintained, the reason why I use the analogies that I do is because I know it's a bit of a slap at first, but, you know, in it the world that I came in the big from picture. and dance, it's how it is. Mm -hmm. You know, they really do hammer at you and, you know, and you sort of sit there and go, oh, my God. But then you sort of process it and you understand if I spewed out all this technical jargon, jargon they wouldn't understand no. what I'm talking about mm. and it would be lost on them but it, you know similarly it's work. As well. I've known Jason for years he does say to me you're not wearing that you know he's very very honest it's part of the industry <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know some people take it with a pinch of salt some people take it very seriously. What yeah. about the people who say to you well it's all well and good for you to say that but you don't skate 
oh, I'm so bored with that. You know, I've never maintained that I'm on the panel and I wasn't hired as a skating expert. That's why we have a world champion on the <laughs> panel. Please, people, get this through. I'm there looking at the dance and the performance. You know, that's my background and my area of expertise. And, you know, we don't actually, Emma and I never talk about whether they're technically skating correctly. I always critique about the overall performance. But you both defer. You just mentioned, you know, Emma, you're much harder this year because she's had a year of watching it sitting next to me in the rehearsals Learning. and the practice and asking the questions. It may not end up out on, on screen, but they have both learned a lot about what it takes to be able to do the type of material that our skaters are being asked of them. Mm. Emma, what's been your favourite moment so far of the series? Mm. Oh, I've had quite a few actually, but I thought Laura's solo dance on Sunday was so incredible because you saw her as a performer on her own, no partner. It was yeah. a scary moment for her, but she pulled it all out. And also, There's Sam. A little bit. This is a little oh, bit of uh, Laura for so you. So good. She was so I loved good. her face. You know, it was Feisty. just. Oh, you she, you look, forget so she's confident. on the ice. I know. It's when you watch their feet and how complex the moves are on Absolutely. their feet as well. And she's not performed in front of an audience before. She's, no. you know, she's just so it's brilliant. But it's just, it's just amazing that she, she never skated before, and you're looking at her, they're just going, "You're really good." Yeah. What was she's your other one? one you were saying? Learned. And I Sam. loved Sam as well. I loved the river dance. I couldn't quite believe mm. it. For me, that was a real turning point of, "Wow, okay, mm -hmm. these people are doing great things." Because to be honest, I really didn't think that this would work. You, we were I, like, when yeah. they said river dance, dance on, on ice, ice, I thought, oh my God, I can think of nothing worse. worse yeah. And then he came out and it was absolutely incredible. Yeah, it's brilliant. So, and, he, look, and he even did the jumps and yeah. she didn't. It was just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. Robin. No, I was going to say, sometimes, you know, you, you have to fit the tricks around what's needed and, and try and get those elements in. And sometimes, like with a river dance, it is so stylized. How are they? How are they going to blend together? And I think we all both went. Ooh, not really sure if it's going to work. Yeah. But then again, mm. it was. Did you have a favourite bit? My, yeah, one of my favourite bits was actually watching Sam and Jeff in the skate off together. Didn't like the fact that either of them were there. Yeah. Mm. But what the skate off has done, and you say it every week, is that they actually raise their game and go up against it. Yeah. And they both had made mistakes and silly mistakes that they both were able to fix. And that skate off to me was probably the best skate off of the series. Mm. Well, um, does you, do you still surprised at how good they get in such a short space of time? You you don't do what they do in their day jobs without having a, a deliberate focus of making it right. right. Nobody sets out on this just to have a good time and we found that from series one mm. and then in series two they saw what series one had done so we can go a next step further. Yes. And now we're at that point where they know the show well enough, they've watched it in the past. If you're going to put yourself out there in yeah. a show like this, you have to be committed to those five hours every day, six or seven days a week, and then delivering that performance on a Sunday. So am I surprised that we have so many of them that have gotten so good? Mm. Yes, absolutely. I thought, you know, you always have one or two. Mm. We had three, four. We had probably had five contestants that could easily, mm. and we were expecting to have been in the <clears> semi-final. Um, Which makes the final that much more exciting. So this this is the best final. Ever. <clears throat> First one. It's neck and neck. Mm. It's a fight to the finish. Yeah. You know, we've never had that. It's always been a foregone conclusion, right. in a way. In a, yeah. in a way. And all three of our finalists have been at the top of the leaderboard. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And Which it's is... anyone's game. And they're going to have to deliver. Really, really and how final. do you feel about the fact that, obviously, this week, they're choreographing, to a certain extent, their own routine. This is their little project. This is their baby. Production number. I am at this because I, I'm <laughs> really looking forward to seeing how creative they're going to be as well. Exactly. That's going to be something that's Because we've never seen really that fun. before. We've never really... I mean, apart from when they um, put together their you know, their, their, their unique move yeah. or um, their bolero, if they yeah. get to do it, uh, we haven't seen them do their own creativity. And certainly from all of our point of view, we are really looking forward to yeah. seeing that. Most importantly for me is that it's all very well to have all those people in the back, but you still have to be shining in the front. Mm. And yeah. even if you're part of that group, you are have to be and uh, maintain yourself as our main focus. Yeah, you can't get lost in it. Yes, yeah. because as part of the production be number, there are other you get to pick professional skaters to go with you, don't yes. you? That's how it but works. But having right. those ideas, I want to see what they come up with. And, mm. oh, but but nice. most of all, making sure that you remain the focus and yeah. not get swallowed up in all of the you know the fabulousness of it all. Yeah. And um, and so we have to ask, mm. Jason, we we ha because because it has been a topic of conversation. And it would be remiss of me not to ask okay. um, that. And you meant you mentioned the hat at the beginning there. So what what's going on under the hat? Do you know what? 
suffice to say, mind your own business. <laughs> 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 we, uh, we know there's magic going on under that jumper, as we saw in Heat magazine today. I haven't uh, seen this oh yet. my goodness gracious really? me! Really? Well, maybe you ought to have a look at this. Oh oh Rambo my was on the <laughs> panel. Now, we now is that, that the hair under, under the hat? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Now, that would be magic. No, I mean I do have head envy, but that's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> is there? Uh, is there going to be? Will, will there be a moment when you think, right? Okay, it's time for the hat to come off now. Do we know when that might be? Well, as you know, once I get sick of the uh, the cap look, there will yeah. be a moment when yes, okay. I will. Is that moment quite soon? Do we think? Mm, let me feel the waters. <laughs> mm, I don't know yet. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Fair enough. Moving uh, right along. And, and we'll so, uh, who's someday. your winner? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, can you say okay, that? Well, I can ask it. They don't have to answer it, but I'm going to ask it. Who's your winner? Oh, look at Robin's Laura. face. Oh, he said it. Oh, I said wow. it. Oh, OK. I've okay. asked there. lots of people. My mum is a huge fan of Laura. Mm. You know, I think she's kind of standing out at the moment for everybody. So Interestingly enough, a lot of people have said to me that they love Chloe because she sort of represents somebody that they can all relate to. And she's worked so mm. incredibly hard. And she has been the one that has shocked them the most. The most. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I can understand yeah. that. It's interesting because Sam was the one that bubbled to the top very well, early I'm, on. I then... hope he does a bolero, though. I'd love to see him do a bolero. Mm. The and new think... rocked up version of the bolero as Ooh, well. Yes, I've what got that. Really? Oh, no, I've yeah. got that yeah. information. Yeah. Yeah. They have oh, the what? Kirk Bain of the uh, classic world. Hold the line, oh. please, Stanley. caller. I've got the information <laughs> here. Yes, and um, this is David Garrett. David Garrett. Uh, yeah. he's, oh, uh, really? he's the one. Yeah. He's uh, rocked up, as you say. He's going to. He's created a special arrangement of bolero for, for, yeah, for the violinist. final. So that wow. should be, an, that should Thanks, be amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you are. Wonderful. Can't wait. Thank you, guys. Wish to see you on Sunday. Thanks, you Sunday. shall. Thanks. See you there.